you are a person having no much plans on salesforce if you are a person having no much plans on salesforce then understanding <clears throat> salesforce started the journey as a crm tool then it moved to sales then marketing then shipping then finance and now salesforce is in healthcare infrastructure automation education salesforce is everywhere if you are a person having no plans on salesforce this is enough for your knowledge this is enough for your knowledge but when you are trying to put your time your career your money in salesforce then you should not stop here then you should not stop here you should understand why salesforce is so much in demand in the market what exactly salesforce is giving to the it world or any other domain because of which all big companies like facebook coca cola google all the all are using salesforce for their internal business process and how exactly salesforce is solving the problem of all these big companies so the same thing you can do in your company to make your employer or to make your to make your client happy in short we are going to see now one or one of salesforce in short i am going to take a topic now to teach you the one or one of salesforce okay so be ready for the topic now i am going to start some training process to show you what kind of teaching methodology or what kind of teaching quality i provide in my syllabus so let's start understanding with the concept called as what is crm a question may come in your mind this is the class of salesforce then why we are talking about crm now please note guys it's because salesforce is nothing but a crm tool or crm application now another question may come in your mind do you mean that the reason why salesforce got so much fame and success is because of crm yes crm is one of the very important requirement in the business world and that is the reason salesforce automatically got the benefit of that how let me tell you to tell you all these things let me take you to the history somewhere around late 1970s and somewhere around early 1980s where it market was growing where it market was new no competition was there everything was going smooth what happened suddenly some small companies started giving their service in the market with comparatively less pricing with comparatively less pricing because of this what happened those customers of this existing companies started getting confused that what should i do now because new companies are charging me less old companies are charging me high what i should do and this way these customers started getting distracted and then these existing companies realized that we are losing our customer now if this is going to continue we will be out of the market very soon then what they did they planned some kind of brainstorming activities and finally by thinking in various angle they realized right now the way we are working <coughs> the way is functionality or process is our center point we are focusing on that only we should not focus only on that much <clears throat> we we should focus on one more thing that is nothing but called as customer so there is one more entity called as customer and we should focus on that because each and every customer is different the customer requirement is different for example there will be a customer the name of the customer is let's say sandeep sandeep is coming from a very big company they don't have any money problem <clears throat> and they need a very powerful or strong application which will be useful for their customer let's say then i will give a package number 1 for sandeep there is another person let's say the name of the person is let's say aman and he is coming from a startup company so they do, they can't put much money in the in the project so they want a simplified version of project and they want a less 
or like a comparatively less costly project. So I will give you I will give package two for a month because each and every customer is different. So say, so it is required that each and every customer should be treated differently. Now so the purpose was to keep eye on each and every details of customers, his past requirements, issues, future plans, budget and capabilities. And this way CRM came into the market because people realize that now we should focus on customer more than the process and all. And that way CRM came to the market with the concept CRM is equal to customer relationship management. To ensure our customers are going to be very happy, that level of service we are going to provide to our customer. So the purpose was this. And what was the result? <clears throat> Amazing. This ensured complete satisfaction of the customer. And because of that only, it became the core of current IT world. Or any domain. Okay. So you take any Fortune 500 company, you take any mid-level company, or you take many small level companies, they have definitely a CRM tool team with them. There are some group of people dedicated for CRM work because they want to ensure their customers are getting happy with their work or service. And this way, CRM became important element in the market. Now please note, mobile is a concept. This is mobile. Mobile is a concept. Now that company or those companies which realize that this concept is going to be a very important need of mankind in future. <clears throat> those companies who realize that this is going to be a very important need of mankind and they started the service very early. Now they are millionaires or billionaires. For example, Apple, for example, Samsung. Okay. Similarly, that company which realized that CRM is going to be the need of business world and they started very early. That company is billionaire now. Salesforce.com. Okay. And this way, Salesforce made a strong entry in the market, taking the advantage of CRM. Okay. I think there is a question in the chat box. Let me open the chat box and let me see it. So there is a question. Both admin and developer domains include in CRM? Yes. <clears throat> in CRM, many things are already present. In CRM, many things are already present. Okay. But when the things are not present in the CRM application, you have to do programming and you need to generate your requirement. Okay. I hope you got the answer. So this way Salesforce came in the market because of the importance of CRM. Okay. Now let me tell you something more. A, a common question which people ask me regularly, let's say, sir, can you tell me why Salesforce is so much different that when we have big companies like Microsoft or Oracle or SAP, still Salesforce is behaving as a market star. What is the reason? Now, please note, guys, being a normal CRM application player, apart from this, Salesforce is giving us one more service that is called as cloud platform, cloud computing. And because of this only, Salesforce is behaving as a market star. So, regular CRM benefits plus cloud computing benefits equal to Salesforce, the market star. A question may come in your mind again. So, Shekhar, do you mean that other companies don't use cloud computing, which are competitors to Salesforce? No, they use that. Then how come you, how can you say, how can you say that this is happening because of cloud computing? Now, see, let me tell you the interesting thing. If you see the market, let's say just before few years, uh, let's say right current market, if you in the current market, if you ask a school going child also, this is a school going child and you are asking him that tell me what is the future of cloud computing? Even a school going kid will tell you that there is no future of IT world without cloud computing. Cloud computing is, way, is going to be one of the very, very important thing in the future. But if you see the history, let's say very short history, let's say somewhere around 2006 or seven where you if you are a regular reader of IT magazine you might have observed that there were many people in the market who used to think who used to say that there is no future of cloud computing cloud computing is a flop concept it is going to vanish 
from the market very soon. People used to say somewhere around 6 7, 2006 7. Now, if this was a negative scenario, can you imagine how much negative scenario could be in 2005 or 3, or sorry, 4 or 3 or 2 or 1 or simply 2000? Absolutely negative, right? Now, just imagine this amazing bold decision taken by CEO of Salesforce who decided to launch a company by leaving his very high salary job to come to the market on CRM application with the cloud computing when almost everyone in the world was negative for cloud computing he started the things at that time and now because of this bold decision he is minting billions of dollars every year the CEO of Salesforce Mark Binio so that is the reason it is always says that great people don't do different thing they do same thing but in different style so the, all these companies which are doing the things right now he did in 1999 only when he did this in March 1999 and now today is 2016 from 17 years Salesforce helping the market and that is the reason it's very difficult now for any other competitors who recently joined the market to survive in front of market of Salesforce because Salesforce almost cover all the market in the entire industries okay so this is the reason why Salesforce is so much different they started cloud computing solutions early one of the advantage of Salesforce now we are going to move to the last slide of the day please note one advantage of my training process you will see that at any point of time if I feel that even a single word which I am using in my class may be not clear to my student still then I speak at least two three more lines about that word and I try to make all that all this special or important words clear to each and every person because I want each and every person in my session should be should be hundred percent clear okay so let's see that is the reason I am going to explain you next slide assuming that the word which I use cloud platform or cloud computing may not be clear to you <coughs> so the last slide of the day here we go <coughs> So now we are going to see here why Salesforce is getting how Salesforce is taking advantage of cloud computing. We are going to learn this by comparing traditional application with Salesforce application building process. Okay, traditional application process versus Salesforce. So let's see now. As of now, we'll forget about this for two minutes, and let's focus on this. Assume that we are going to focus on Java, just for example. Okay. So assume that there is a person. The name of the person is Satish. Satish is in USA. And there is a person, the name of the person is Aman. He is in India, for example. Okay. Now, on one fine day, Satish called Aman, said, Hi Aman, I came to know that you are a very good Java person, Java programmer. I have a company in USA. I need a software for my company. <clears throat> Can you create that? So Aman said, Okay, no problem. And this way, Aman started the work. But Aman realized that his laptop is very, very outdated. So what he did? He went to the market to purchase the processor or RAM or something like this. Why? Because he knew because he knew that his laptop is not going to solve the problem. Okay. So he went to the market, upgraded laptop by spending hundreds of dollars and he came home with a very upgraded powerful laptop. Step number one finished by Aman. Next. Now he know very well that to do some kind of thing of Java project and all, I need a Java software. He again went to market to purchase the CD of, for example, NetBeans and came home by spending hundreds of dollars. He installed the NetBeans, started working. But he realized, oh, I don't have a database. Where I am going to store the data? Again, he went to the market. Again, he spent hundreds of dollars, came home, installed the database, let's say Oracle, and connected this, all these things, connected all these things and finally ready. Okay, step number two, finished. After few months, assume that project is finished and he is calling Satish. He said, Satish, my work is done. My work is done. Please tell me the next step. Satish said, okay, do one thing. Come to USA, install the software, show me the demo. If all fine, I'll pay you money. So this way, Aman went from India to USA. He installed the software there. Any kind of issues are coming to client system. He made a debug, testing and updating of client system. And finally, Satish is happy. Satish paid the money to Aman and Aman came back to 
India. Okay. Now, assume that after a few years there is a big problem in the software. It's not working, and Satish is calling back to back to Aman and saying that my system is not working, my software is not working, my whole business is down because it is re relying on this software. Do something quickly. Come to USA. Assume that during those days, let's say Aman's brother is getting married. Okay, this is the marriage time of <clears throat> Aman's brother, and Aman is in, 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 literally not interested to travel here and there because it is one one of the important event in his life. But still, looking at the very big problem of customer, he had to move to USA, stayed there two three days to solve the problem, and came back to India. But he is not happy now because he missed one of the very important event in his life brother's marriage now please note this kind of adjustment this kind of compromises or this kind of headaches we don't have in the journey of sales force how let's see assume that after a few years a person called as sandeep called aman and said hi aman i hope you oh i hope you know satish i am actually colleague of satish and uh, uh we we are going to create now the thing in a salesforce the same project we want in salesforce so can you do that same software in salesforce let's say aman said sure i recently learned salesforce i can do that and let's say aman started the work now please note here aman was focusing on upgrading ram processor memory in this case aman will check only one thing is my internet working fine that's it here aman was working focusing on purchasing net beans and oracle cd and come to home and install and connect and configure here aman will see only one thing is my internet working that's it here aman was traveling to india to usa again some problem again to usa and so many things here aman will give entire solution to the customer at right hand side but by only checking one thing is internet working fine that's it so just look at this guys how dramatically the things are getting simple now in the market that such an hectic such an hectic approach is simplified now where you can just do entire project just by arranging internet how this is happening because of the magic of salesforce which is taking the which is how it's happening because salesforce is bringing the magic in the work by using three important pillars of cloud computing aws pws and iws which means IWS says to Aman that Aman you don't worry about having the processor upgrade and RAM on servers and all I have all set up ready you just focus on your business process and rest of the things I am going to take care by my infrastructure as a service who is saying to Aman assume that salesforce here salesforce saying to Aman that I have platform as a service facility with which you don't need to worry about purchasing netbeans and a cd and oracle and install and all these things everything is ready for you simply you just start working on your business requirement i am going to make everything ready for you and please note guys the platform in which we work in salesforce is called as post.com and the programming language that we use in salesforce is called as fx and this is world's first programming language which was introduced on sales by salesforce which can run on cloud okay world's first cloud programming language this is the gift of salesforce to the it world okay before that it was not possible and finally here salesforce saying to aman that with sws facility no matter your customer is in usa uk canada or anywhere the application will be completely on cloud on internet so you can access from anywhere from your home from internet cafe anywhere from mobile you can also access that application and do the need for it and this way the life become very simple with the help of salesforce because just by arranging internet we can have entire solution so please note that is the reason why salesforce is favored of admins developers customers employers business analysts everyone is happy on salesforce mm -hmm. and the final point of the day if you are going to work as a salesforce developer admin you are going to work at this level if you are going to work as salesforce developer then you are going to work at this both level at this level we don't work because this is managed by salesforce engineers and we have plenty of jobs at these two positions okay and that's all with my demo that's all with all the things which i wanted to tell you about my training process and my class i hope the training was enjoyable the demo was